and it's a good morning. <laughs> it is Sunday morning the 27th of March here in Port Elliot, South Australia. And I just remembered I needed to turn down the volume on my iPad. Where I am sending this is to my YouTube channel, my Ros Boundy profile, the Ros Boundy page and the MyTimeTV.live page on Facebook and also the Body Soul app that I've mentioned before. So going to the five destinations so you have your choice of watching where you need to be, where you enjoy being on the internet as such, because none of this is possible without the internet, that wide, worldwide web of intrigue, isn't it? So good morning, Keza. You're bright and early too this morning. It would be 8.30 over there, wouldn't it? In Victoria, have you got a nice day looking ahead for you? Because I've got a beautiful day looking like it's going to be uh, sunshiny and warm. That's the forecast. So I'm really looking forward to actually probably even just going for a bit of a walk down the beach too. So good morning, Rosie. Oh, lovely little emojis. I love that lineup. Gorgeous, especially the unicorn and the owl and the butterfly. And the good luck. Um, what do you call that thing? The clover, the rose. Even the prayer hands, <laughs> namaste. <laughs> and I think that's a sunrise or a sunset, isn't it? That little square one. Gorgeous, aren't they? Not too bad maybe for your day today as far as weather. Look, I hope whatever it is that each of you are going to be moving into, enjoy your day ahead. And welcome to those who are on the Body Soul app. I can't bring them up on the screen like I can with these comments. So Junie and you're in Dubbo and it's raining there. Oh, gosh. I know the forecast as I watched it last night on the news. I did actually watch that tail end of the news last night before NCIS. It was that I had seen some rain over there on the eastern board. I hope you stay dry though, Rosie, with Junie. I, I did notice you travelling. Good stuff, isn't it? Being able to get out and about again. Sun out, a bit chilly. For, yeah, well, for you, it is autumn. So I dare say we are moving ahead into our winter here in the Southern Hemisphere. So let's go over to the cards because I like the little spread that I've got this morning. Um, I'm always excited to be doing something a little bit different and new on the weekends. So here we are. And happy Sunday to you as well, Michaela. Today's your son's birthday, 32 years old. Wow, isn't it amazing when they start getting over those three zero numbers? <laughs> All of my four are over those three zero numbers now. <laughs> so, uh, happy birthday to your son and to you as the mother who birthed him <laughs> because there is that, isn't there? Um, and Candice, you're new here as well. You're struggling with anything, uh, struggling any, struggle. Oh, new here, really struggling now. Anything you have for me would be appreciated. What this is, Candice, is a daily card spread reading that's a general card spread. So what you need to be doing is actually tapping into your spiritual guidance, connecting in with listening for what spirit's got for you individually from these three cards that we've got this morning. So uh, really being open to that, that they're guiding you to directly from within. So have that practice. This is what I encourage through here as well. So <laughs> Michaela's son's name is Jamie and you're going to be celebrating in a couple of days. Well, um, whenever the celebration is, it's always nice to celebrate that we do have our solar returns, our birthdays each year. Um, not that you have to celebrate all the time, like every year, uh, I tend not to make as big a show of it. But anyway, each each to how you like to celebrate, isn't it? And oh, wow, the cards, you love them. Yes, I do too. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And Rosie, you're staying in the cabin, so you stay dry. Well, good, 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 good. And Keza, of course, you're saying happy birthday to Jamie. Lovely. So thank you. <laughs> there. Yes, there is the aspect of birthing him into the world and raising him. It's a lot of work, but there's a lot of love in doing that, isn't it? And it's something that we don't ever stop doing. That love stays connected through our lifetime, of course. So 
that's how we would love it to be and continue to love it to be that's me anyway so and I can see it's you too so let's get into these cards there is only three so I am using them from the Rana George Lenneman deck so for those that are new to this one I'll bring that up a bit closer so that you can see it more fully uh, it's a gorgeous deck of cards I found it by watching someone else using it somewhere and went to purchase now the artworks by Kelly L French and it's Rana George I think these are available pretty much anywhere that you can get uh, your, your divination cards, your cards, you know, Booktopia in Australia is probably where I got it. Um, you know, Amazon, they'd be anywhere. So, um, yeah, I don't even know about Barnes and Nobles in those places, but just look them up and you'll find them, I'm sure. And good morning, Vicky. Lovely to see you here too. And, um, Candice, it's not a gen, it's not a individual card pool. This is you doing your own interpretation from what I just guide as a general card spread. Okay, so that's what this is for this morning. Every morning at around the eight o'clock, I tune in to give a card spread. That's uh, it, it's for allowing you to be guided by your spiritual connections as uh, they guide you specifically to your own life situation. Um, <laughs> would never have missed it. <laughs> Birth, <laughs> motherhood. Mm. <laughs> there were times over four children that I thought, oh, God, why did I do this? But we do, isn't it? Yeah, you understand? Oh, good. Thanks, Candice. Just tune in. It, it really is just, it's connecting in, just putting, even if you're placing your hand on your heart and saying, Spirit, guide me. That's as simple as it can be so that you're feeling what the messages are and then you're opening your mind to what these cards are meaning for you, okay? <laughs> I like that, yes. <laughs> there have been moments, as in all families, isn't it? So what we have with the cards today, I decided that what I do to be a bit different on the weekends, I like to do something a bit different. I open the Divination Divided book, which is what this is that I have my Apple Pencil over, the Spiral Bound book. It is in two halves so that it's going like this, right? And the top does the same. But because I've got the cards already laid out, I won't be doing that again. And I just chose, or Spirit just chose, which spread to use as the guidance for three cards. I wanted to use only three cards this morning. And this is the spread that Spirit chose. Now, that is spread number 37. Uh, which is an 11, so it gives it some power in its in its emphasis for today, being an 11, uh, you know, the angel card, the angel numbers or master numbers or power numbers or whatever way you like to interpret your numerology, the 11, 22, 33 are powerful numbers and we have the 37 breaking back down into the 3 and the 7 and it's 11. And you don't, I don't go further back for that once I hit the 11 for this purpose. So here we go. We've got the mountain, we've got the letter card, and we've got the clover. Fantastic spread for what, uh, fantastic cards for what these spreads are. Now, because I can't lift it up now because of the cards are on it, this here in line with the mountain card is actually the energy of what is on this space explanation is a new path to explore so I thought wow isn't that just so appropriate the new path to explore what sort of explorations do you put do you have in mind when you see mountain and exploring it's almost like that first cresting of Mount Everest by Sir Edmund Hillary, wasn't it? And taking that journey that he took of so much difficulty way back when there wasn't the technology, when there was the uh, all of it, manual loading, you know, shifting the stuff to base camp, to moving it up to the next stage, to the next stage, to actually put 
his mark on being the first man to the top of Mount Everest. Recorded. So here we've got <laughs> the energy of a, a new path to explore with a mountain card. So just challenge yourself even to know, understand what is your new path that you're taking today as a fresh, brand new day. What are you feeling in your day that's that's ahead that you've already planned maybe or it may be not that you've planned it and it's going to be falling into place for you that's guided by spirit. There's so many different ways to know, you know, to, to start exploring a new pathway. You could get an absolute definite sign from spirit that you've got to do something, go somewhere, um, you know, look into, you know, read, research or something that's going to take you down a new path. So, and the challenges, that's what it is. It's challenging to create the muscle, to take on, to, you know, forge ahead with that new path. It's with all the resources that you have within you, you can do it. So don't be frightened of taking that new pathway or exploring whatever is ahead for you. Take that step, really move into that with confidence, knowing that you're being spirit led, that your guidance really is showing you that way and giving you the resources for it. <laughs> oh, Candace, sorry, your phone decided to close. Look, it does stay here in these pages where you're seeing it. As soon as it finishes, you can re-watch it as many times as you like. So I don't take it off or delete them or anything. They're here. So feel confident you can watch back to where it went off. Not a problem. So that could be one of those challenges you're needing to actually make sure that you have that power stored, ready to, you know, charge up and move ahead with that that is your new exploration, new pathway, new journey. Wonderful. Could even just be a holiday somewhere. It's whatever spirit's guiding it to be for you. Could be something new for your business space, for your work, for, you know, just taking family somewhere for something that's a new adventure <laughs> adventure <laughs> and here we are with this next card being the letter isn't it a gorgeous I really like the card being you know it's it's got that beautiful drape and what seems to be a little peek through a window there because that's how my office is I've got my you know the window is there and I can enjoy that view every time that I'm sitting here and uh, it's the ink. Oh, that's actually a tassel. There's the window. Um, the ink and quill sitting there next to the paper and the blotter and all that's entailed in the very old-fashioned way of handwriting. And uh, this card that it's relevant to, the, the part of the reading that it's relevant for, is what will I gain on this journey? So here we are continuing a pathway, a journey, we're starting to explore and then it's going to explain what will you gain when you take this journey moving forward. Um, the letter to me actually brings those epic writings in letters that used to be where the young men, and it was mostly young men in those, uh, back in the, I'm looking at the 17, 1800s where it was uh, yeah, that the young men did their um, Europe journeys. They did their, and I suppose the old saying for it was sowing their wild oats before they came back home to marry, settle down and bring forward what was their family career building and, and all that sort of stuff. They settled. This, it just brings to my, and then there was the journeys long trips that you'd write about what you experienced and the exciting things you saw and did and you'd have family and friends that you would write long intimate handwritten letters describing everything of what occurred it's it's got that it's almost these days a romantic nonsense because who writes by hand anymore who writes letters anymore and it feels to me that what will we learn on this journey, this new pathway we're being directed to today? 
it could be just if you have got a pen and paper because i know even for some people what's a pen what's paper it's all keyboard and on internet and etc um just move into writing things down to describe what you're experiencing to another person the letter is about communication it can be private to one person or it can be public to whoever the world etc it's bringing forward that that you want to speak that's going to be read rather than heard as a voice or uh, you know that type of communication it is permanent it's written down on paper so to speak it's on a post if you really don't have pen and paper write your thoughts as a as a post or something like that that is our known communications these days is sms texting or emails all that uh, it's still valid but doesn't it bring in that beautiful romantic sense of spending that time and putting your thoughts from here down into what is going to be read by someone you love or you know even as a friend but someone who you'd like to describe these things to beautiful you know what is the journey that you're on exploring moving forward really discoveries and wow how exciting and what's the most likely outcome is what we've got for the clover so this whole process of moving forward on this at the start it's a new pathway you take one step at a time and you're exploring as if it's an adventure and sharing it with others and it really is going to bring lifted energies and excitement and good luck into your day today because this really is talking about more today but you can carry this energy of just this one spread this one set of three cards into your however long you want to experience this energy hold it close hold it so it carries and move it forward to continue onward with that good luck being grown clovers are a live plant they're a live beingness in the natural realm of mother earth so here we are starting on a mountain of a natural realm of mother earth expressing how we're feeling and what we're doing and all that's involved in that to continue growing and bringing into our experience that good luck that clover energy okay and Candace, you feel like you're talking about your life right now. You just got out of a toxic relationship, now free to do what you want without being treated horribly. Absolutely, and love this. It really is what we sense and feel around these signs and signals that spirit are showing us that we um grow that continual connection with spirit that we are strengthening that as well so that we are being more open in listening and seeing and using all of our senses even the smell and taste are part of those senses when we have those feelings that are connecting with spirit that they're giving us those messages and letting us know where we might need some guidance be open to asking them for help as well it's not just a one-way street it's a two-way connection of us and our spiritual connections that soul that how we are in our source um you know to the depths of what is our soul <laughs> so tap into that keep growing that have a wonderful day as you are experiencing that new pathway and being able to express it to someone else what a great day you've had by the time you've come to the end of the day write a letter to someone wouldn't that be wonderful and actually post it <laughs> wouldn't they get the shock of their life tip to me i think i might do that <laughs> have a beautiful day keza and to you michaela as well wonderful to have you all here and to each and every one on the replays and to those who are also watching from the Body Soul app, it is lovely. Oh, I've got a little twirly happening on that. Maybe it disconnected there too. Got flat. Uh, my iPad is going flat. So technology is wonderful. Continue being you in your most natural sense. Our most natural sense is 
being connected with our spiritual source and really living in the present moments because they are the most important. It's what you're experiencing now. It's what you're learning now. It's how you are being. So keep being the best you that you can be. And I'll move on to my day. You move into yours and have a wonderful day. Namaste till tomorrow. Bye. Hmm.